Okay, good morning. I'm audible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So without wasting time, we will start. In last lecture, we have solved numericals on shear force and bending moment diagram. Today we will solve numericals on uh, how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram for cantilever beam. Okay, so please write down heading numericals on cantilever beam. Okay, I will draw figure here. You can also draw, then we will solve problem. Okay, this is cantilever beam A, C, C end fixed and at A end point load is applied and the intensity of point load is 20 kN. Intensity of point load is 20 kN and at B point, at B point here couple is acting at B point 80 kN meter 80 kilonewton meter couple is acting from a to b span is 4 meter and from b to c span is 2 meter okay from b to c span is 2 meter okay so here cantilever beam is given so one end is fixed and other end is free so accordingly a end is free and c end is fixed so here only one reaction will be generated. Okay, only one reaction will be generated.
okay so first step is reaction calculation when we will calculate reaction at that time we have to use first step that is summation fv which is equal to zero that means we have to take addition of all vertical forces which is equal to zero whenever we will take addition of all vertical forces upward forces we will positive downward forces we will consider negative so according to this now you tell me how will you will write yes So here RC force is going upward. So RC, okay. After that, this 20 force is going downward. So minus 20. Okay, this 80 kilonewton meter we will consider in summation FP or not. Yes, reply me fast. We will consider this 80 kilonewton meter for moment couple or not. Okay, am I audible now? Rohit, Snehal, Saili, at least give me reply. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. So this 80 kilonewton meter is a movement couple. We will not consider in summation FV. So which is equal to zero. Therefore, RC, which is equal to 20 kilonewton. Okay. After that, we have to apply second equation. Second equation is related to movement. So, we will take movement at C. Okay. We will take movement at C. So, summation movement at C, which is equal to 0. So, this 20 kilonewton creates clockwise or anti-clockwise movement. Anti clockwise, so minus 20 into perpendicular distance is 4 into sorry, 4 plus 2 is 6 okay. meter. 6 after that, this 80 clockwise or anti clockwise, this 80 is clockwise, so clockwise. plus 80. And here, no need to multiply by perpendicular distance because of here already movement is given. And at C point, due to this fixed support, one movement will be there. Okay, one movement will be there. And this is again clockwise. So plus MC, which is equal to zero. Okay, we will shift this to right side. So MC, which is equal to 20 into 6 is how much? 120. 120. 120. 120. And this 80 minus 80. So MC, which is equal to 40 kilonewton meter. So this is the movement. Now our, our first step number one is over. We will move towards second step that is shear force calculation. Second step is shear force calculations. Step number two, shear force calculations. Shear force calculations. Okay. So we will start from this A point. Okay. Now you tell me shear force at A which is equal to shear force at A which is equal to shear force at A. Okay. Or at A point only one force is there and this creates or rotates beam anti-clockwise. So minus 20 kilonewton. After that, we will move towards shear force at B. Shear force at B. Okay. So, shear force at B, which is equal to, you observe here at B, one moment couple is there, but this is moment couple. So, we will not consider in vertical forces. So, shear force is as it is minus 20 plus 0, which is equal to minus 20 kilonewton. Okay, minus 20 kilonewton. Now we will calculate shear force at C. Shear force at C, but before RC, but before RC. Okay, so you observe again here in between B to C, there is no any force before RC. So shear force is constant minus 20 kilonewton. After that, we will calculate shear force at C after 
after RC, which is equal to okay. Up to this RC, force is minus twenty, and here this RC creates clockwise rotation, so plus twenty, which is equal to zero kilonewton force. So these are the shear force calculation. Anybody having doubt in shear force calculation? No, ma'am. Okay. Now we will move towards bending moment calculations. Bending moment calculations. Step number three. Bending moment. Bending moment calculations. Bending moment calculations. Okay. So we will start bending moment from this A point. Okay. So bending moment at A. Bending moment. Bending moment at. A, which is equal to okay at a point force is there, but perpendicular distance is zero. So twenty into zero, twenty into zero, which is equal to zero kilonewton meter. Zero kilonewton meter. Okay. After that, we will calculate bending moment at B. But before this couple, okay, before this couple, so bending moment at B, but Before couple, before couple, okay. Before couple, which is equal to okay. For this, I will draw figure here. This is our B point. Here, twenty kilonewton force is applied, and perpendicular distance is four meter. So this twenty pushes downward. That means which type of nature is there? Hugging. Hugging. So minus twenty into perpendicular distance is four. So bending moment at B before couple, which is equal to minus eighty kilonewton meter. Okay. After that, we will calculate bending moment at B, but after couple. Bending moment at B, but after couple. Okay. So next is bending moment. Bending moment at B, but After couple, after couple. Okay. So for this, I will draw figure here. You observe this figure. So, okay. Here couple is applied eighty kilonewton meter. Okay. And here twenty kilonewton force is applied. Twenty kilonewton. This distance is. Four meter. Okay, this distance is four meter, and this is B point. Okay, now the bending moment which is equal to this twenty kilonewton force pushes downward. So minus twenty into four, minus twenty into four, and this couple going clockwise direction. Okay, and this is pushes upward. You observe here, this pushes upward to B. So sine is plus eighty, which is equal to so minus eighty plus eighty, which is equal to zero kilonewton meter. So bending moment at B after couple, which is equal to zero kilonewton meter. And last step is remaining bending moment at C, which is equal to bending moment at C, which is equal to. So for this, we will consider total beam. Okay, here. Twenty kilonewton force is applied at B point. Eighty kilonewton meter movement is there. This span is four meter. This span is two meter. Okay, so which is equal to? So this twenty pushes downward. So minus twenty into. Now you tell me perpendicular distance which is equal to how much? Four plus two because of we have to. Find out moment at C. So my into six. After that, this eighty pushes upward. So plus eighty, which is equal to how much? Minus twenty into six plus eighty, which is equal to how much? Minus forty. Minus forty kilonewton meter. So these are the Bending moment calculations. Now we will draw shear force and bending moment diagram. Okay, so last step is step number four: shear force and bending moment diagram. SFD and 
BMD. Okay, shear force and bending movement diagram. Those students are present in classroom. Please, your switch off your mobile and kept in your bag. Otherwise, mobile will be not given to you. So at a point here, point load is applied. This is B point here. Moment couple is applied 80 kilonewton meter. And this is fixed support C. This is B point and this is A point. Okay. Now we have to draw shear force and bending moment diagram here. Okay. So shear forces values are whole values are minus so shear force diagram is above or below baseline below baseline okay so we will draw so this is our baseline now shear force at a shear force at a is minus 20 that means below baseline okay after that shear force at b so at b shear force is constant because of there is no any load between a and b Okay, first I will extend this line, then we will draw. Okay, so shear force is constant up to B point. After that, shear force at C, before RC, observe here, this is again minus 20. That means there is no any force in between A to C. Okay, and after that, shear force at C, but after RC, that is this RC force is applied here. So this is zero. Now our diagram is closed. Whole diagram is below baseline. So this is negative diagram. This is shear force diagram. Okay. So here value is minus 20. Here again minus 20. This is A point. This is B point and this is C point here also minus 20. So this is the shear force diagram. After that, we will draw bending moment diagram. So bending moment values are also negative. That means our bending moment diagram is below baseline. First, we will draw baseline. So this is our baseline. Now, bending moment at A point. Bending moment at A is zero. Bending moment at B before couple, that is minus 80. That means up to this point. Okay, suppose here minus 80. Now I have drawn here inclined straight line. Why I have drawn here inclined straight line? Yes. Okay. Instead of this B, you take section here. Okay. And suppose we have assumed that this is X distance. So we have to find out movement at xx. So this 20 pushes downward. So minus 20 into x. Now you observe here x raised to power is how much here? x raised to power is 1. If x raised to power is 1, at that time bending moment connection is inclined straight line. That's why I have drawn here inclined straight line. Okay. So at B, before couple bending moment is minus 80. Okay. After that, at B, after couple, bending moment is how much? Zero. That means this line will reaches to our baseline. Okay. Okay. 
okay so here zero value is there after that bending moment at c bending moment at c is minus 40 okay again here same fundamental is there x raised to power is 1 that's why connection is inclined straight line and value is minus 40 okay and after that we have to close this diagram so here value is minus 40 this is a point at a point value is 0 at b point sorry at c before rc mo moment is minus 40 here whole diagram is in minus so this is bending moment diagram okay anybody having doubt ask me otherwise please write down first
Okay, if you're writing it, Johar, shall I take next example? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Those students are present in classroom. You're writing it here. Okay. So we'll take next. Okay, so we will take next example on cantilever beam. First, I will draw figure simultaneously. You can also draw. Then we will solve. Now A end is fixed and B end is free. So at B point one moment couple is applied and the intensity of moment couple is 60 kilonewton meter. This is B point. After that at C point UDL is applied in between C to D and the intensity of UDL is 5 kilonewton per meter, okay. Span for A to B is one meter, B to C is two meter, and C to D is two meter, okay. So this is the cantilever beam AD. On that beam, one moment couple is applied and one uniformly distributed load is applied. So for this, we have to do calculations for shear force and bending moment and after that we have to draw shear force and bending moment diagram so as usual our step number one is reaction calculation okay reaction calculation reaction calculation so in that first is summation of fv which is equal to zero so upward forces we will consider positive downward forces we will consider negative so here one end is fixed so here a reaction will be there so we will call as a re okay and one moment will be there so according to this sign convention you tell me summation of fv which is equal to which forces we will consider here ah, first this re going upward so positive R A. After that, this 60 kilonewton we will consider or not? Yes. This 60 kilonewton meter consider in horizontal, sorry, vertical forces or not? Not. Not because of this is movement couple is given. After that, which vertical force is remaining? this uniformly distributed load so this pushes downward that means minus phi u into okay this is uniformly distributed load we have to convert this is udl to point load so we have to multiply by this phi u kilonewton to span and span is two meter which is equal to zero so ra which is equal to phi u into two is 10 kilonewton okay directly we got the value of RA. After that second step, we have to apply here. Which second? That is summation movement at, we will take movement at A point now. Okay, summation movement at A, which is equal to zero. So here one movement will be there and this is, we will call as MA. So this movement is going anti-clockwise. Okay, for this clockwise we will consider positive and anti-clockwise we will consider negative. Please close the door. Okay, so this MA is anti-clockwise, that's why minus MA. Okay, minus MA. After that, you tell me this 60 kilonewton is creating clockwise or anti-clockwise movement clockwise okay so we will consider positive or negative 
positive plus 60 plus 60 after that we will move towards this uniformly distributed load again this uniformly distributed load creates clockwise movement so plus 5 into 5 into 2 this is udl to point load after that it will act as 2 by 2 at the CG of this particular span. But at the same time, we have to take movement at A point. That means we have to add this one meter and two meter. Okay. So plus three, which is equal to zero. Okay. So we will shift this minus MA to right side. 60 plus five into two is 10 into two by two that is one so four which is equal to ma so ma which is equal to how much 100 ma which is equal to 100 kilo newton meter so here also we will get the value of movement at a automatically now reaction calculation step is over we will move towards next step shear force calculation so Second step is shear force calculations. Second step is shear force calculations. Shear force calculations. Okay. Now we will start shear force from A point. Shear force from A point. So shear force, shear force at A which is equal to shear force at A which is equal to how much? At A point, RA force is there and the intensity of this RA is 10 kN. Okay, you observe this. This RA rotates clockwise. Okay, so shear force at A which is equal to 10 kN. After that, we will move towards at B point. Okay, at B point. You observe here in between A to B, there is no any vertical force. That means shear force is constant. So, shear force at B, which is equal to again same, that is 10 kN. After that, we will calculate shear force at C. You observe here in between A to C, there is no any vertical force. That means it indicates shear force is constant. So, shear force at C, which is equal to again 10 kN. Okay. After that, we will calculate shear force at D. Shear force at D. Shear force at D. You observe here, in between C to D, one vertical load is there. So, we will consider here. So, up to this C point, the value of shear force is 10. Okay. After that, this 5 kN pushes downward that means it creates anti-clockwise rotation of beam so minus 5 into 2 okay here i have multiplied by these two because of this udl we have to convert into point load which is equal to so shear force at a, d which is equal to plus 10 minus 10 is 0 kN. okay anybody having doubt in shear force calculation no ma'am Okay, now we will move towards third step that is bending moment calculations. Bending moment calculations. We will start from this D point. So now you tell me bending moment at D which is equal to how much? Okay, here load is there, but perpendicular distance is zero. So, bending moment at D, which is equal to zero kN meter. After that, we will calculate moment at C point. So, next step is, next point, bending moment at C, which is equal to, okay, for this, I will draw figure here. Here, our D point is there, and we are going to calculate moment at C. And in between C to D, one uniformly distributed load is applied, and intensity of UDL is 5 kN per meter, and span is 2 meter. Okay, only that much force is there. Okay, so this 5 kN force pushes downward. That means sagging type of nature will be there and if sagging type of nature is there so bending moment is minus 5 into 
two and it will act at its CG that is two by two. So which is equal to bending moment at C, which is equal to how much? Minus 10 kilo Newton meter. Okay, because of this two, two gets cancelled and five into two is 10 kilo Newton meter. After that, we will calculate bending moment at B. Bending moment at B, but before couple. Bending moment at B, but before couple. So bending moment, bending moment at B, but before couple, before couple, which is equal. Okay, I will draw figure here. Suppose this is our D point, this is C point in between C to D, UDL is applied, intensity is 5 kilo Newton per meter. Okay, and C to B. Okay, here before couple we are calculating. So we will not consider this couple in this calculation. But B to C span is how much? 2 meter. Okay, and this is 2 meter again. Okay, now we will calculate moment. You observe this 5 kilo Newton pushes downward. That means negative moment. So minus 5 into 2. So this is u del 2 point load after that it will act at 2 by 2 that is center of this particular span and we are calculating movement at b that means we have to consider this total distance that is plus 2 so which is equal to. okay so 2 1s are 2 2 1s are 2 1 plus 2 that is 3 5 into 2 is 10 10 into 3 is minus 30 kilo Newton meter. Okay, so this is the moment before this couple. Before this couple. Now we will calculate bending moment at B, but after this couple. Okay, so we will calculate bending moment at B after couple. So next is bending moment at B after couple. After couple. Okay. Here you have to choice from this left side also from this right side but we will calculate from this right side. So B is like this. Okay, I will draw here figure. This is D point. This is C point. This is B point. And here, couple is applied and intensity of couple is 60. Okay. Now, this perpendicular distance is 2 meter and this distance is 2 meter. Now, you tell me moment how will we, how you will calculate yes first by the moon
okay so we will calculate movement here this 5 kilo newton force pushes downward so minus 5 into 2 okay this is u del 2 point load and it will act at cg so 2 by 2 plus this two distance okay after that we have to consider this b force that is this is movement couple and this movement is again pushes beam to downward so minus 60 which is equal to 0 sorry not 0 you calculate and tell me which is equal to how much yes minus 5 into 2 into 2 by 2 plus 2 minus 60 which is equal to how much minus 90 minus 90 kilo newton meter minus 90 kilo newton meter okay after that we will calculate bending moment at a only this a point is remaining so bending moment bending moment at a which is equal to okay here force is there but perpendicular distance which is equal to zero but here one moment is applied you observe here one moment we have to consider this moment and this moment pushes beam to downward so minus 100 so bending moment at a which is equal to minus 100 kilo newton meter so these are the bending moment calculation now we will move towards last step that is shear force and bending moment diagram so sfd and bmd sfd and bmd first we will draw original beam and then we will draw shear force and bending moment diagrams Okay, so this is A B C D beam. At B point, one moment couple is applied. In between C to D, uniformly distributed load is applied. So now we will draw shear force and bending moment diagram. So you observe here all values of shear force are positive. That means it indicates our shear force diagram is above or below baseline. Above baseline. Okay, so this above baseline. Is, yes, this is a baseline. Now, shear force at A is ten kilo newton. Okay, shear force at A is ten kilo newton. So we will draw here ten kilo newton. After that, shear force at B. Shear force at B is again ten kilo newton because of there is no any force. After that, shear force at C again ten kilo newton. That means in between A to C there is no any force. So shear force diagram is constant after that shear force at d shear force at d which is equal to zero so we have to connect this by incline straight line okay so this is our shear force diagram and whole diagram is in positive this is shear force diagram this a point this is b point this is c and this is d this value is 10 here also 10 here 10 and here 0 so this is the shear force diagram after that we will draw bending moment diagram so all values of bending moment are negative 
that means it indicates bending that moment diagram is below baseline okay so bending moment at a bending moment at a which is equal to minus 100 so below baseline we will draw here minus 100 after that bending moment at b before couple which is equal to yes how much before couple okay we will start from here d at d bending moment is zero at c bending moment is 30 so you observe here here uniformly distributed load okay first we will mark points and then we will join okay suppose here 30 value is there okay so minus 30 here g at c, minus 10 m minus 10. Okay, okay, minus 10. So here, minus 10, here 0. After that, bending moment at B. Bending moment at B before couple. Value is minus 30. Okay, so here, minus 30. After that, bending moment at B after couple. Minus 90. Minus 90. So here sudden drop down because of here moment couple is applied. Now we will join this. Okay. So. Okay. Now you observe here in between C to D. In between C to D uniformly distributed load is applied so if uniformly distributed load is applied at that time bending moment diagram connection is parabolic parabolic so this is parabolic please remember this and whole diagram is in negative this is bending moment diagram if anybody having doubt, ask me. Otherwise, please write down fast. So we will take next example.
your writing is over Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, now you take two problems for homework. Okay, instead of this 60 kilonewton, this is clockwise, you take anti-clockwise. Okay, other question is same. So here one end is fixed, other end is free. Okay, so here this 60 kilonewton going anti-clockwise, only that much change, 60 kilonewton meter. Okay. Here A point, this is B point, this is C to D. Intensity of UDL is again same, 5 kilonewton per meter. This is C point, D point. Span between A to B is 1 meter, B to C is 2 meter and C to D is 2 meter. Okay, so you solve this problem and check where values will be changed and how shear force and bending moment diagram will be changed. Okay, this is first. This is first question for homework. Okay, now I will give second question. So again here cantilever beam is given and on that beam only point loads are applied. Only point loads. But number of point loads are applied. Total three point loads are applied. So A end is fixed, A end is fixed and D end is free. Here at B point, C point and D point, point loads are applied. Okay. So at B point, the intensity of point load is 30 kilonewton. At C point, the intensity of point load is 50 kilonewton. And at D point, intensity is 20 kilonewton. Okay. Span for A to B is 3 meter. For B to C is 2 meter. And for C to D is again 2 meter. Okay. Very simple problem. That's why I have given the homework. Your question writing is over. Yes. Yes, overall one time. Okay, so these two problems solve and 
let me know what are the values of shear forces and bending moments in next lecture so now we will solve next example on cantilever beam okay so i will draw figure here so here again one point load is applied at b point one point load is applied at b point then in between b to c there is no any load and after that at c point in between c to d one uniformly distributed load is applied so this is a here one point load is applied and intensity of point load is 30 kN intensity of point load is 30 kN this is b point up to c point there is no any load and in between c to d uniformly distributed load is applied and intensity of uniformly distributed load is 20 kN per meter okay so span for a to b is 2 meter b to c is 2 meter and c to d is 3 meter c to d is 3 meter so we have to solve this question first we will write reaction calculation step first step is reaction calculation reaction calculation okay now you tell me fast how to calculate reaction summation fp which is equal to zero upward forces we will consider positive downward forces we will consider negative so here ra force will be there ra force will be there okay so this ra force going upward direction so ra after that this 30 kN force going downward so minus 30 and this 20 again going downward so minus 20 into 3 why i have multiplied by 3 here yes why i have multiplied by 3 here udl to point load madhe conversion kar okay so we have to convert this udl to point load now we will calculate ra which is equal to 30 plus 60 so ra which is equal to how much 90 kN okay after that we will apply second equation summation moment at a which is equal to 0 summation moment at a which is equal to 0 so here clockwise we will consider positive anti clockwise we will consider negative okay so here ma moment will be there okay so this ma creates anti clockwise moment so minus ma after that this 30 kN force creates clockwise moment towards a point so plus 30 into 2 after that this uniformly distributed load again creates clockwise moment so plus 30 sorry 20 first we will convert load 20 into 3 after that it will act 3 by 2 plus we have to take moment at a point okay so 2 plus 2 that is 4 which is equal to 0 now we will shift this ma to right side so 30 into 2 is 60 plus 20 into 3 is 60 into 1.5 plus 4 because of 2 2 1 2 2 5 is 10 so 1.5 plus 4 that is 5 point 5 point 5 which is equal to ma so you calculate the value of ma and tell me ma which is equal to how much Yes, ma which is equal to how much? Three ninety kilonewton meter. Okay, three ninety kilonewton meter. Three ninety kilonewton meter. 
so now reaction calculation step is over we will move towards second step that is shear force calculations shear force calculation second step is shear force calculation shear force calculation so we will start from a point okay shear force calculation from a point so sf at a which is equal to sf at a so here ra force will be there okay and the intensity of ra is 90 so shear force at a which is equal to 90 kN okay after that we will calculate shear force at b okay so shear force at b which is equal to plus 90 up to this a point after that at b point downward 30 kN force is there so minus 30 which is equal to plus 90 minus 30 that is plus 60 kN after that we will move towards this c point okay so you observe here in between b to c there is no force so shear force will be constant so which is equal to plus 60 kN after that we will calculate shear force at d shear force at d so shear force at d which is equal to up to c point shear force is plus 60 plus 60 and in between c to d downward force is there so minus 20 into okay you have to convert this udl to point load so 3 which is equal to plus 60 minus 60 0 kilo so these are the shear force calculations the next step we will move towards bending moment calculations third step is bending moment calculations bending moment calculations okay. so we will start bending moment from d point bending moment from d point bending moment at d which is equal to okay. so at d force is there but perpendicular distance is Zero, so bending moment at D, which is equal to zero kilonewton meter. After that, we will calculate bending moment at C. Next is bending moment at C, which is equal to. So you observe here, here only uniformly distributed load will be there. So this is D point, this is C point, and intensity of uniformly distributed load is twenty, and span is thirty. Okay, so this twenty kilonewton force pushes downward. That means minus twenty into three into it will it will act at its CG. So three by two, which is equal to so bending moment at C, which is equal to how much? Minus ninety. Minus ninety. Okay, minus ninety kilonewton meter. after that we will calculate bending moment at b bending moment at b so next point is bending moment at b bending moment at b which is equal to bending moment at b which is equal to I will draw beam here. So this is C point and D point. In between C to D, UDL is applied twenty. Here span is three. Okay, and this is B point. Okay, here point load is applied thirty. And in between B to C, span is two meter. Okay, so this twenty pushes downward. So minus twenty. Okay, we have to convert into point load. So minus twenty into three into it will act its CG that is three by two. But we have to add these two distance because of we are taking moment at B. So plus two. Then this thirty kilonewton force is there, but perpendicular distance is how much? This thirty kilonewton force is acting at B point. So that's why perpendicular distance is zero. So which is equal to 
So you calculate minus 20 into 3 into 3 by 2 plus 2. That is minus 60 into 3.2. Two one zero minus two one zero minus two one zero kilonewton meter. After that, last point is remaining bending moment at A. Bending moment at A. At A point force is there, but perpendicular distance is zero. But simultaneously at that point one moment is applied. So bending moment at A, which is equal to bending moment at A, which is equal to here RA force is there, but this RA acting at exact A point. So perpendicular distance is zero, but here moment is applied and this moment pushes beam to downward. So minus 390 kilo Newton meter. Okay. So these are the calculations of shear force and bending moment. Okay. Now we will move towards next step, step number four. That is shear force and bending moment diagram, SFD and BMD. Okay, first I will draw given beam, then we will draw shear force and bending moment diagram. So here can deliver beam is given AB. Okay, on that one point load is applied at two meter. Now I will extend all points. So A end is fixed. This is A. At B point, point load is applied. Intensity is 30 kilonewton. Okay, this is B point. This is C. In between C to D, uniformly distributed load is applied. And intensity is 20 kilonewton per meter. Okay, so this is 2 meter span. This is again 2 meter. And this is 3 meter. Okay, now we will draw first shear force diagram and then bending moment diagram. So you observe here, all shear forces values are positive. That means it indicates shear force diagram is above baseline. Okay, so first I will draw baseline and then we will draw figure. Okay, so shear force at A, which is equal to how much? 90, okay, so we will draw here. Shear force at A is 9. After that, shear force at B. Shear force at B is 60. That means in between A to B, force is constant. Force is constant. But at B point, 30 kN downward force. So, here value is 60. Okay. Value is 60. After that, in between B to C, there is no force. So, this 60 kN is constant up to this point. 60 kN is constant up to C point. After that, shear force at D. Shear force at D is 0. So, we will connect this. So, this is the shear force diagram. All values are positive. So, whole figure is in positive. This is A point. Here 90 kilonewton. Here same 90. But at B point 30 kilonewton downward. So here force is shear force is 60. After that this is constant up to C point and shear force at D is 0. Okay. This is B point and this is C point. Now we will draw bending moment diagram. So, bending moment values are, all values are negative. 
that means bending moment diagram is below baseline first i will draw baseline okay now bending moment at d zero first we will mark all points and then we will draw figure okay so bending moment at d is zero so here point is there okay after that bending moment at c bending moment at c is minus 90 so okay here bending moment at c is minus 90 after that bending moment at b bending moment at b is minus 210 so we will mark here Minus two one zero, and after that, bending moment at A is minus three ninety. So we will mark here minus three ninety. Okay, you observe here only in between C to D, uniformly distributed load is there. That means it indicates in between C to D, the connection is parabolic or inclined straight line. Parabolic. Parabolic. So. This is parabolic. Okay. After that, you observe here point load will be there, so connection is linear line. Okay. Now I will connect by using linear lines. Okay. So this is the Bending moment diagram. All values are negative, so whole diagram is in minus. This is bending moment diagram. If doubt, ask me. Otherwise, please write down fast. Okay, write down fast. So we will take next example on overhanging beam.
pure writing is over. Shall I take next example? Yes. Vaishnavi, Shweta, Pranali, Rohini, Sakshi, Mayuri, Puja, Rohit. Yes, I am complete. Okay. Now we will take examples on overhanging beam. So please write down next heading. Numericals on overhanging beam. Numericals on overhanging overhanging P. So I will draw figure here first, then we will write. Okay, so this is A point and at A point, point load is applied intensity is 30 kilonewton. Okay, this is A point. Span is one meter. Okay, this is B point. This is D point. Here C point is there and one point load is applied intensity is 50 kilonewton. Okay. So, span between B to C is 3 meter and span between C to D is 2 meter. Okay. Span between B to C is 3 meter and span between C to D is 2 meter. So, as per our steps, first step is reaction calculation. Reaction calculations reaction calculation okay you observe here b to d span is or b is simply supported beam and a to b is overhanging or cantilever beam okay at b support is provided and a is fixed so overhanging means combination of two types okay a to b is cantilever and b to d is simply supported okay so for reaction calculation, first point is summation Fv, which is equal to zero. So suppose we will write here, this is Rb and this is Rd. Okay. So upward forces we will consider positive, downward forces we will consider negative. So according to this, minus 30, because of this 30 kilonewton going downward. Then this Rb going upward. Rb. Then this 50 kilonewton going downward. So minus 50 will be there. Okay. And Rd going upward. So plus which is equal to Rd. Now we will shift this minus 30 and minus 50 to right side. So Rb plus Rd which is equal to 80 kilonewton. This is our equation first. After that we will take movement at this D point movement at this D point. So summation movement at D, which is equal to zero. So now we will take movement. So which is equal to this, we will start from this RB point. Okay, we will start from this RB point. So this creates clockwise movement. Okay, clockwise movement. So RB into perpendicular distance is how much? Three plus two is? 5. Okay. After that, this 50 kilonewton creates clockwise or anti-clockwise moment? Anti-clockwise. So, minus 50 into perpendicular distance is 2 meter. Now, we will move toward this 30 kilonewton. Again, this 30 kilonewton creates anti-clockwise. So, minus 30 into. Now, you tell me perpendicular distance which is equal to how much here? 1 plus 3 plus 2 that is 6 which is equal to 0. Okay. So Rb into 
5 which is equal to we will shift this to right side so 50 into 2 that is 100 and 30 into 6 that is 180 so 5 rb which is equal to 5 rb which is equal to how much 280 280 so rb which is equal to 280 divided by 5 so you calculate and tell me rb which is equal to how much 50, 56 kilonewton. Okay, now we will put this 56 in equation 1. Okay, in equation 1, so put RB in equation 1. RB in equation 1. So what is our equation 1? RB plus RD. RB plus RD, which is equal to how much? 80. So rb plus rd which is equal to 80 so rb is 56 plus rd which is equal to 80 so rd which is equal to 80 minus 56 how much force is there rd which is equal to 20 24 kilo newton rd which is equal to 24 kilonewton okay so these are the reactions calculations i will write here rb is 56 and rd is 24 now we will move towards second step that is shear force calculations shear force calculations shear force calculation we will start from this a point so shear force at a which is equal to shear force at A, this is going downward, so minus 30 kilonewton. Okay, minus 30 kilonewton. Now we will move towards this B point. So shear force at B, which is equal to, okay, up to B, force is minus 30. But at B point, upward force will be there. So plus 56. So you calculate and tell me shear force at B, which is equal to? plus 26 kilonewton. After that, we will move towards this C point. Okay, up to C, there is no force. That means shear force is constant. So shear force at C, which is equal to, okay, plus 26 as it is. And at C point, 50 kilonewton force going downward. So minus 50, which is equal to how much? Minus 24. Now you observe here, here shear force value changes sign from positive to negative. That means at this point bending moment value is maximum. Okay. After that we will calculate shear force at D. Shear force at D which is equal to up to Okay, or before this D point, okay, in between C to D, there is no force. So, value is same, but before this RD, minus 24. And at D point, RD force is there and the value of RD force is plus 24. So, shear force at D, which is equal to 0 kN. So, these are the shear force calculations. Now, we will calculate bending moment values. So, step number three, bending moment calculations. Step number three is bending moment calculations. Bending moment calculations. We will start from this D point. Okay. So, bending moment, bending moment at D, which is equal to Force is there, but perpendicular distance is 0. So, 24 into 0, which is equal to 0. After that, we will calculate bending moment at C. Bending moment at C point. So, bending moment at C, which is equal to bending moment at C. I will draw span here. So, here 24 force is there. Span is 2 meter and this is C point. Okay, so bending moment at C is 24, pushes upward, that means beam will deflect likewise. So this is positive. So 
plus 24 into perpendicular distance is how much? 2 meter. So bending moment at C is 24 into 2 is 48 kilo Newton meter. Okay. After that, we will calculate bending moment at B point. Okay. Bending moment at this B point. So bending moment at b okay now we will calculate from this left side only one force will be there okay so figure is like that here force is applied 30 and span is one meter and this is our b point okay so this pushes downward so minus 30 into 1 which is equal to minus 30 kilo newton meter okay if you have to cross check from this right side then you try okay we will try here so this is here b point is there okay here c point 50 kilo newton is applied this is 3 meter this is 2 meter and this is 24 so this is pushes upward so 24 into 3 plus 2 that is 5 okay after that, 50 is pushed downward. So, minus 50 into 3, which is equal to. Calculate and tell me how much. 24 into 5, minus 50 into 3. Minus 30. That means either you have calculated movement from left side or from right side, you will get same answer. Okay. I will erase this. So, bending movement at B, which is equal to minus 30 kilo Newton. Okay. Then, bending movement. Okay. So, here overhanging beam is there. So, in that, we have to calculate zero bending movement point. Okay. So, bending movement, bending movement is zero. Bending movement is zero. That is point of contraflexure okay point of contraflexure bag atta paryanta apan kay baghitle hota ki shear force ha particular ek point la zero yeto pan overhanging beam madhe bending moment sudha zero yete mat ja point la bending moment zero asel ta point la apan kay mhanto point of contraflexure okay now we will find out this point so if at x meter or x from c x from c manja aplyala kay karaycha ya c pasun kiti distance var to point of contraflexure act zalela hai to apan find out kare okay so for this i will draw span here here d point force is 24 this is d at c point 50 kilo newton force is there this span is 2 meter and we will take section in between b to c in between b to c and this distance is x meter okay so now this 24 pushes upward that is 24 into perpendicular distance this 2 plus this x distance that is 2 plus x 2 plus x after that this 50 pushes downward so minus 50 into perpendicular distance is x which is equal to 0 Okay, so 24 into 2 is 48 and 24 into x is 24x minus 50x which is equal to 0. So 24x minus 50x which is equal to how much? Minus 26, na? Minus 26x which is equal to 0. We will shift this minus 26x to right side. So 48 which is equal to 26x. So x which is equal to 48 divided by 26. You calculate and tell me x which is equal to how much? 1.8 okay, for 6 meter. But from which point? From C. Because of we have taken x distance from this C point. Okay. So at this 1.84 meter, bending movement is zero. Okay, when has C point person, 
1.284 मीटर म्हणजे कुठेतरी इथं पर्यंत ओके वन पॉइंट एट टू मीटर इथं किती असणार आहे तुमची बेंडिंग मुवमेंटची व्हॅल्यू झिरो असणार आहे सो दिस इज एक्स पॉइंट अँड दिस पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड ऍज पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्राफ्लेक्चर अँड लास्ट पॉइंट इज रिमेनिंग बेंडिंग मुवमेंट ऍट ए विच इज इक्वल टू हाऊ मच एनी वन प्लीज बेंडिंग मुवमेंट ऍट दिस ए फोर्स इज देअर बट परपेंडिक्युलर डिस्टन्स इज झिरो सो लास्ट पॉइंट इज आय विल राईट इन नेक्स्ट स्लाईड बेंडिंग मुवमेंट ऍट ए विच इज इक्वल टू झिरो बेंडिंग मुवमेंट ऍट ए विच इज इक्वल टू झिरो किलो न्यूटन मीटर ओके नाव बेंडिंग मुवमेंट कॅल्क्युलेशन आर ओव्हर लास्ट स्टेप दॅट इज स्टेप नंबर फोर वी विल ड्रॉ शिअर फोर्स अँड बेंडिंग मुवमेंट डायग्राम एस एफ डी अँड बी एम एस एफ डी अँड बी एम फर्स्ट आय विल ड्रॉ गिव्हन बीम देन वी विल ड्रॉ डायग्राम सो हिअर वन पॉइंट लोड इज अप्लाइड वन ऍट वन मीटर हिअर सपोर्ट इज प्रोव्हायडेड हिअर अगेन सपोर्ट प्रोव्हायडेड हिअर वन पॉइंट लोड इज अप्लाइड ओके सो दिस इज अवर B. I will extend all lines. so at a point one point load is applied and intensity of this point load is 30 kN here b point is there this is a okay here value is 56 rb okay and here no not here this is rd this is 24 here one point load is applied and intensity is 50 kN span this is 1 meter this is 3 meter and this is 2 meter okay now we will draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram first i will draw base line so suppose this is our base line okay now according to calculations you tell me shear force at a which is equal to minus 30 okay shear force at a which is equal to minus 30 that means it goes below baseline so minus 30 after that at b okay you observe here shear force at a minus 30 shear force at b plus 26 okay shear force at b plus 26 so a to b there is no force up to this point it will be same as it is okay and after that it will go plus 26 that means we have to draw shear force diagram above baseline so up to this point okay after that in between b to c there is no force that means this 26 force is as it is okay after that at c point shear force which is equal to minus 24. 24 that means it again going downward up to this zero and after that minus 24 okay after that shear force at d before rd that is minus 24 and at d shear force is zero so this is our shear force diagram so this is a point this is b point this is c and this is d point okay this is c point and this is d point so this is minus this is plus and this is again minus so here minus how much value is there 
up to this point 30 will be there here 26 okay here 26 as it is after that minus 24 here again minus 24 and this is 0 okay so this is the shear force diagram okay now if we draw diagram below baseline no need to write down this minus sign This value is 24 and this is again 24. This is the shear force diagram. Now we will draw bending moment diagram. Okay, first I will draw baseline and then we will draw. So this is baseline. Okay. So we will start from this D point. Bending moment at D which is equal to 0. Okay, we have calculated. I will show you. You observe here. Bending moment at D, 0. After that, bending moment at C is plus 48. That means above baseline. So, bending moment at C is plus 48. We will mark here. Plus 48. After that, bending moment at B. You observe here bending moment at B is minus 30. That means it going below baseline. So suppose here point will be there. This is 30. And after that bending moment at A which is equal to 0. Now here only point load is applied. That means connection between two points is inclined straight line. So here. So this is the bending moment diagram. This is negative. This is positive. Okay. Now you observe here bending moment is zero. Okay. Here bending moment is zero. And this point is called as point of contraflexure. And this point distance is one point. How much? Eight four. One point eight four six meter. 8, 4, 6 meter from this C point. Total span is 3 meter. Out of that, 1.846 from this side. So, remaining distance is here. This is A point. This is B point. This is C point. And this is D point. This is the bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram. This point is called as point of contraflexure. Okay. First, I will show first slide. Okay, after writing this slide, let me know. So, I will show next slide.
Okay, if your writing is over, shall I show next slide? Yes. Reshma, Mansi, Puja, Suraj, Om, Rohan. Over, ma'am. Okay, I will show next slide. Okay. Over your these drawings, your force and bending movement diagram. Okay, I will give one example for homework. Okay, I will draw here. So you will get time.
okay in previous example the overhanging is provided at left side but now in this example overhanging is provided at right side that much change only okay here ra will be there and here rd will be there same procedure you have to follow and you have to solve so today totally i have given three examples two on cantilever and one on overhanging b so you try to solve this and give me answer in next lecture okay your writing is over yes yes ma'am okay so today we will stop here thank you for attending lecture thank you